Mark, how much work has there been on the training field this week to get the frustrations of, of Saturday out of the way? Yeah, first couple of days of the week was, were exactly that. And the players, the players were great. You know, I'm, we're all a little bit frustrated, I think, as everyone is. And the only way we're going to do it is, is going to get ourselves out of it is to, is to just work even harder at what we're doing and, and, and trying to get a little bit more tempo to our game, a little bit more energy and enthusiasm. And if we can get that, you know, hopefully that can take us take us beyond what we're, where we are at the moment. And I suppose that will also be what will help you finish teams off, won't it? Whether it's to get a second goal, whether it's to keep a clean sheet. Um, absolutely, absolutely. A bit, a bit of enthusiasm, play with a smile on your face. You know, the basics are there, but we just, for whatever reason, we're not we, we're not winning games as many times as we would have liked this season. And uh, we're trying everything that we can to to get a, a reaction, a, a positive reaction. I mean, you know, I have. No problem with most of Saturday's play. We were just very frustrating that we didn't get three points. So we've been working on a couple of things this week to try and ensure that our energy levels and our performance levels make sure that we can see games out. And how much is it a case of, I suppose, just those fine margins are what makes the difference and how difficult is it to keep performances and results separated so that you concentrate on what's good as well? Um, it's difficult at the moment but as long as the performances are there we, we, have a, we give ourselves far more chance um, and like I say for me it's we've got good players we haven't been seeing games out or, or winning enough games full stop but I think if they do it with a bit more a bit more of a smile on their face like I said before a bit more enthusiasm bit more wanting to do it for each other then, then I think it will be a lot better I think at the minute and it is mindset of, of whether you win games and, or constant consistently or not it, you know it's that one with where I think if you, you're winning games you're in that habit it just takes care of itself and you see games through and you know how to the, the, as you said the margins are really fine and at the minute you just need to flip it over and make sure that the winning margins come down on our side Big away journey up to York City this weekend and, and they've just gone a position higher than us. How important is it to, to try and get back on the winning front this weekend? Uh, yeah, it's extremely important to get our first win of 2014. Um, yeah, it's a long trip up there. Our way forward has been pretty good, so lads are in good spirits and feeling pretty confident. How frustrating was it last Saturday? Because it's, it just seemed to be again in control of Northampton and then again it's just perhaps is it concentration is it just mistakes slipping into the game um, yeah it's extremely frustrating uh, yeah it just appears to be we're letting these leads slip and we've got to nip that in the bud uh, we know what we've got to do collectively and we'll set up to do that and hold on to these games because we, we seem to take the lead in quite a few games this season York City are traditionally quite a tough side and I expect the inclusions of if Keith Lowe and Russ Penn, you know, against their former club will, will make it all the more harder. But is this the kind of game that you guys relish? Yeah, they, they, they're going to have a point to prove. Uh, they, they might feel that they should be playing here and, you know, the lads here are going to prove why they're playing here and they're not playing here. So it's, it's going to be a good battle um, to see some old faces and they've got an emotional tie to the club, I'm sure, but they're going to put those to the side and, and, and battle to get the win, just like we are. The manager's been um, sort of the forefront of, of the news this week. The, the, <laughs> the chairman's uh, explained that it's going to be a, probably a, a two-year contract for him. And it, for a player to hear that, that, you know, the manager that brought you in, especially, is it good to hear that he's going to be getting an extended deal? Yes, yeah, you know, it's just it's good to have a set of camp and not too much movement, whether that be a coaching staff or players and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm I'm, I'm personally pleased to sign a new deal. So. Yes, we start. York, obviously, the chance of fans going up there. A lot of the focus for them is going to be on Russ Penn and Keith Lowe. Um, yeah. I mean, is it one of those that it's perhaps taking a little bit of the sting out of it that it's at York rather than at Wadden Road? Two ex-players, you know, two very good ex-players who've done really well for us. Um, both good lads, both who I've worked with for five, six years of, of my managerial career. Um, so there's no, you know, no problem there. Just... Sometimes that happens, time to move on. And um, like I say they've done all right for their new clubs. We have to make sure that we go up there and you know, keep 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 doing what we're doing and try and be better than we are and, and try and get three points. Because that's only a sort of a subplot to it, the main plot is that the two yeah, teams are very close together on the table. Absolutely, you know, they've had a little run. They've just kind of placed above us in the table, so it's, we know it's gonna to be tough. They beat Fleetwood away as we did. Um, 
they've got some good players, you know, they've started to you know, rebuild for next season and, and beyond by the looks of it. Maybe they think they can have a sneak at the playoffs, like, like we all do. Um, but it's going to be a tough place to go. It's you know you don't get anything cheaply in this league, and you certainly don't get anything come easy for you at York.